everybody, it's Leanna with Wander in Germany, and today I want to do a really quick tutorial on how to use Booking.com to find the best possible hotel for you. Now, in our Travel in Germany Facebook groups, our Bavaria travel group, we get asked all the time, hey, I'm going to this city, what hotels do you guys recommend? And I get why they're doing this. I get why you're doing this, because... That's the whole point of these groups is to ask for personal, you know, ad advice from what people have actually done. The problem is nobody knows your, your um, budget, how many people you're going with, your travel style, your dates, any of these things. And so even if they did give recommendations, it, I, and I know it feels like it's a starting point, but really it, this is just a better way to do it. I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've already gone to booking.com and I've already put in um, a location and some made up dates and who's all going in my party. So also sidebar real quick. I'm not going to go into this much right now. because I want to keep this short, but booking.com is my favorite tool to find hotels. Um, there's other resources, but booking is legit. It's up to snuff. Um, and it's really easy to filter down really hard to find exactly what you need. So I've already put in some filters here. I put in a budget for the night. I've said I only want hotels that have good ratings. Because again, th this is why we're asking in the groups, where should I stay in Munich? Because you want real people. Obviously, there can be fake reviews on things like booking.com. But I want to believe in the good in people to think that the majority, I mean, like here, like this one says 38 reviews. Maybe some of those are fake, but the ones that are 2,000, 4,000 reviews, like I'm going to bet the majority of these are going to be, the ratings are going to be legit. So you can filter it down. I mean, you can say, do I want breakfast included? Do I want a sauna there? Like a lot of times when I'm going with my kids, I'll be like, yeah, there's a pool. So I'll click on pool. If you want to have a specific area, use the map. This automatically filters. So if I want to stay near the Hauptbahnhof in Munich because I'm going to Oktoberfest and that's where I want to stay, I don't know. Um, you know, I can zoom in and find that area on the map. And it will only then show me hotels in that area. I can say only show available properties because right now these red dots are not available for my dates. So I can literally filter this down to exactly what I want, when I want it, where I want it, how good of reviews they are. And once I do this, once I have it really narrowed down, I'm going to start clicking on these. And then I'm going to start drilling into each one. I'm going to personally use my own criteria now to read these reviews here, all through here. I'm going to look through the pictures and I'm going to start comparing them to one another. I'm going to start really comparing the prices, you know, okay, 368 for a sofa bed, queen bed versus 347 sofa bed, queen bed, okay, we're looking pretty similar, come down here, you know, this kind of thing. Um, you know, I really re rely on these reviews. So if I'm seeing a lot of people complain about something or, you know, and I do it, I go to like the worst reviews first and kind of see if there's a trend and then use my own brain. Like, are people complaining about no air conditioning? Um, and that's just how it is in Germany. Like there's not many hotels that have air conditioning. In fact, there is a filter that you can put in here somewhere in this section uh, to say air conditioning. Like you can filter it down as far as you want. Then I'm going to narrow it down to one or two. And hopefully it's going to be apples to apples. The prices are going to be similar. The locations are going to be ideal where I want them to be all of that. And then I pick the one that, you know, if it's apples to apples, I know I have a good hotel what I want, where I want, and the price that I want. So anyways, I know this was really quick. So if you have any questions about how to use booking.com to find the best hotel for you, of course, don't hesitate. And I am happy to help you along that process. Cheers.